that's really bad. <laughs> nice, dude, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I take the command. The pain. It's not gonna do it. Alright, I'll do it in chat. Rip. It should be like roll R O less than two or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it'll, what is it'll this auto do it for you. So basically, so basically if you roll one or two on the damage, it'll re-roll it automatically. Oh, okay. okay. Is there a way I can put that into my like? Yeah, you can copy and paste that directly. Yeah, into the, I'm confused. Right into the damage. Right. Okay, what do I do? So Just pick put the card. Right into the damage. Oh yeah, crash. You got it. No, I can't do it. I'm a jam. No, no, I'm saying you you can explain it. We're we're talking. Yeah. About so it. hit hit the cog on the weapon itself, got so it. the, the one that lets you judge stuff, and then replace the two d six with that. And don't forget to do it on the critical as well. Okay. So now it will automatically account for ones and twos and reroll them once. Okay. So statistically, you should be getting higher. Statistically. <laughs> okay, so I did that. So um, should I reroll? That's is the GM's call. Does it reroll all ones and twos, or just like the first one? No, it will reroll once. Okay. So so yeah, if you get another instance of a one and two, it will keep that one. Okay. Uh, so. I'm going to be a little favorable and say you can re-roll the 1, even though there's a 2 before it. So roll 1d6. Should be 2d6. Well, it's just replacing one of the 6s that was already rolled. For, like, the critical. Wait, what? Does that make sense? It re-rolls 1s and 2s. She has a 2 and a 1. Yeah, that's what i She I'm has saying. a 2 and a 4 on the first one, and then a 3 and a 1 on the second one. So she has a 2 and a 1. Yeah, and this one will be replacing the one. I thought you said it only procs like it rerolls so ones and twos. Okay. Okay. So, so the two on the on the eight would be rerolled as well. Is what not, I'm it does not reroll ones. On, like one, oh, it doesn't reroll re re ones. ones. It rerolls one ones. time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Though. Okay, so eleven. Any instances of ones and twos that show up on the damage formula, it can reroll ones. So yeah, that guy gets a little fucked up. Uh, he has snapped out of this in the form of, oh god, my limbs! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you did a hefty chunk of damage to him. Uh, he's not dead, but he's not looking pretty. I mean, depending on your liking, pretty much all dwarves are rolling that, but whatever. Uh, so I believe that's it for you. You had action movement, bonus. Yeah, that's my whole turn. Alright, so big hat. There, ah. let's go swaggers, man. Uh, okay, he's gonna just take this, uh, his hat and sort of, like, grab the rim and toss it, and the hat stays on his head, but it tosses out a spectral projection of the hat. <laughs> yes. Okay, then. I think it was a Dark Souls item like this. Uh, but oh my fucking god. <laughs> No, no, I'm not missing. I already said it. It's too cool. We're re-rolling. Inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to miss. Your, spec your spiritual weapon, your fucking <laughs> I, I miss. Get cooked. Yeah. Hey, is this door shut, by the way? This door over here? Yes. The yeah. bathroom one? Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, with, with his action, he'd be like, Oh my god, the demons are everywhere! <laughs> and uh, cast Minor Illusion. Uh -huh. Which can imitate the sound uh, that can be as l very loud and can sound like you or something else. So when Quiet. he says that, it's going to sound like a crash, like, I am here for Dolphin Souls. <laughs> it's fantastic. I, I don't sound like that personally, but hey, you know, I have a bunch of. 1d20 plus 1. I'm going to do 2d20. <laughs> yeah, they're convinced. They rolled a fucking Damn five it. on this save. They're that's, drunk. That's his turn. <laughs> you you hear screaming from the bathrooms and believe that your illusion was thoroughly effective. Maybe a little too effective. They might have missed the toilet. Anyway, it's a good thing they're in the bathroom though. They could use the toilet out of fear. <laughs> nah, they don't make it. <laughs> oh, shit, you're just <laughs> that's damn. That sucks. Shame. Yeah. Uh, where did you want? Uh, so, spiritual weapon, does it actually, like, create It, it puts, like, a thing on the map, technically. Yeah, you can just gotcha. take it right here. Just a, okay. just a big old hat. Uh, looks grumpy. So the sorting hat from Harry Potter? Yeah, basically. That, that'll work. There we go. 
All right, guard forces. Uh, I do I make like a wisdom save at the end of my turn to break it or break? No, they just get nope. Stuck. They're just nope. they're just keep an eye on last until someone shakes yeah. them to wake them up or until they take Damn. damage. Sucks for this guy because he's just like chilling. He's just like still sitting sitting in his chair like. That would be so much better if you could see me. Um, this guy that got fucked up. Um, I think he views his life as more valuable than trying to fight you guys that suddenly jumped him. So five. This is them right now. Yes. That's them right now. They're going to make an athletics check to try and barge out the door that is pitened closed, but it's going to be at disadvantage. Because has call. he taken damage though? This guy. He has. From at all. Mr. Oh, right, right, right. Um, this one has a note. Let's see. Cray advantage. Cray advantage, that's correct. And then athletics, and it's at disadvantage. Hit! 17, actually. Titans, door, doors, 10 AC. That would be. That breaks it. So he manages to bust through, but because that's his action, he's going to try and get out, but you get an opportunity attack against him. So, if you so desire, you may stab him real good. Wait, who does That's you, Rebecca. At all. Sorry, what? Uh, this guard is attempting to escape. Because, fuck these guys, I'm not paid this much. Um, but you get an opportunity attack because he's just busting through the door. Okay, do I just hit the greatsword? Is it at advantage? Uh, uh, it wouldn't... Oh, actually, hmm, that depends. Does your uh, fighting, just fighting spirit. spirit give you advantage on... Opportunity attacks? Fighting spirits. Oh, I guess that's different. Uh, it did, I think it might be two. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. I don't think it does. I've uh, You can give yourself a weapon advantage until the end of the current turn, not the current round. Current okay. Turn. Okay. okay. So you don't have advantage. He is fling, so you just get a stab him in the spine. Um, he doesn't okay. have armor on, though, so it shouldn't be hard to hit him. Double that one. Does that miss? <laughs> it does, because it's natural dex is plus two, so it's actually twelve. So get swing fucked. and a myth. <laughs> uh, so he gets five, ten. Our amazing ambush. Action was to bust through the door because it was barricaded. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's just fucking booking it. You can see like in the mirror as he starts running. Fifteen, twenty. What a little shit. <laughs> mm. I mean, you guys, you chase after him. Yeah. That means, uh, one you is, know, like, ambush is sort of key yeah. component. Uh, and since literally everyone else in that group is dead or unconscious or hypnotized, uh, hey, Fred, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm very fast. Let's see. Oh, easy. It'd be 5, oh, yeah, 10, can... 15, oh, that's perfectly 20, 25, 30. Yeah. This corpse is kind of difficult to write. They, I think they do. 5, 10, 15, there's no rolling. There's no rolling on. If corpses count as difficult terrain. I mean, even if it did, he has like 40 feet of movement, so he can still make it. Because it would just count as 35 and 40. Yeah. There you go. Is there a lot of people around here right now? Right now, it seems to be more ah. the nightlife, which is to say, uh, mostly calm. Yeah, besides man. the uh, guard that I mentioned, that's way down this way. He's a couple blocks down. Um. Yes. Let me roll a d100 and see if he's paying attention this way. He is not paying attention this way at this exact moment. He's thinking okay. about a sweet cafe near the gate that he wants to go to, but it's closed right now. Yeah, shame. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it. RPO. Okay, I will... Um... Is there like a gravestone emote? Yeah, I will you stab him with my rapier. No, it's not ours. A. Two. All right, stab him with a rapier. Is this the guy you have Hexblade Curse on? He. Uh, no, that guy. No, is that guy. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, 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 nice. Twenty. Easy hit. Thirteen. These guys running right on his PJs. <laughs> I will Kinda. pump two. Hmm, I have. And I will pump two charges uh, of uh, striking into that attack. I mean, you should ask permission first before pumping in. Um... Yeah, sure, sure, go ahead. 
Uh, so what are those two? You can't retaliate because he's a GM. Minus six equals minus three equals. Man, the most lethal pumping anyone's ever seen. Ever read those books where okay. people die during sex? Anyways. <laughs> no. Yes, I. Yes, the Kama Sutra book of weird shit. I'm no, sure. it's called the Kama Sutra. Anyways. And yeah, I, I heard that joke a billion times oh, before, too. Fuck off, car. <laughs> and the horny police have arrived. I really got out of this world. I'm going to be horny. horny day was like a two, two days, days ago, ago or right? something, yeah. Oh. I am the god of this realm. I can be horny if I want to. I invented horny. <laughs> I didn't sign up for ERPG. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, Jackson. Like, straight up, my character's a psychopath, but like, come on. Even dude, that's he's not like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Bob's oh, scrapping the recording now. This never happens. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. I'm yeah. recording. Don't worry. <laughs> this for, this guy. <laughs> this guy bursts through the door, run, starts running down the street, looks over his shoulder one second, doesn't see anyone, looks back. Hey, it's the piano man. Maybe he won't murder me. Stab. <laughs> And uh, Garth Cole, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this arcane uh, is, it, is it your arcane? It's your Eldritch Blast, or is it Bro, something else? This is my weapon. That's the flare thing. This okay, is, this is Blade for our show. Gotcha. No, no, no. This is uh, the same. It's a D6, so everything is a D6. So it's the same thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. This is the uh, uh, the rapier of striking. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Oh, it's that's force damage. Okay. So you stab it into his chest. It seems to. Nope, not going to use that one. Uh, you stab into his chest, and you see a magical uh, charge go through it, into him, and just poof! You uh, see blood start oozing out the side of like his armor. Presumably, the ribcage is now uh, less of a cage, as he falls to the ground, falls off to the side, and like just leans against the glass and the wall. He's super dead. Can I, for my bonus action, sort of grab him and try to support him as if he's drunk? <laughs> and uh, uh, sort of like loudly, just uh, uh, don't worry, friend. I'll help you. I'll help you get you to the bathroom. We'll sort you out in no time. Uh, all right, make a performance check. Performance. Listen up. Commotion downstairs below. All right. You believe if anybody is watching that your performance is exemplary as always. As always. All right, that's my turn. Uh, and with that, um, the other guy is incapacitated, so like he doesn't count as a human being, especially considering he's a dwarf. Yeah, he, he, yeah I was gonna say he is a dwarf. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, Subhumans. So yeah, with that. You know what? I'm gonna use your piano music as just background music because I just like it. Sure, go for it. Let me just stop the GTFO mm -hmm. music. Ribs. Mm. <laughs> the shame I didn't make my character some sort of like cannibalistic psychopath. <laughs> Would have been a perfect timing for the comedy of that. Oh yeah. Nope. He's just a normal psychopath. Ooh, it's a gif and everything. Delicious. All right. Yeah. So do you just drag the uh, freshly made corpse into the room? I escort him into the room. Thank you very much. Oh, po as polite as possible. Yes, of course. Mm, careful of the word me? escort. <laughs> <laughs> Say. He's a pianist, not a penis. Uh, he's got. He's definitely one of those things, and he's got the other. It's your interpretation. <laughs> Unless he's a eunuch. Mm. Funny. Yeah. You do take note that there are pines outside the freshly busted down door. In case, like, uh, for some reason. Oh, wait, I got, wait, wait. I got a gift for that, too. Why? Why do you have a gift for that? I'll this take is what care happens when I'm a player, man. If we are out of initiative, I will take care of that. Oh, yes, you guys are 100% out of initiative. Mm -hmm. Because this guy's incapacitated for how long? Fucking a year, probably? Probably like a minute. 30 foot, 120 feet, concentration up to a minute. One minute. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys want to off him, you, it's easy enough. You can just fucking ambush his unconscious self. Unconscious? Yep. Stab. Mm -hmm. Step, step. Yeah, because we've got the guy up here, so. Precisely. You only have one. Only need the one. 
Exactly. My only question is, what are you going to do with the civilian units? Um, stick a chair underneath the doorknob so they can't get out. <laughs> we'll leave them to it. I mean, sure, you could do something. Uh, hmm. Maybe scare them yeah. off that they climb out the bathroom window? Is there a window in the bathroom? Got it. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know, Tommy. I'm just gonna roll D100. Nope. Yeah. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, what would I? This did not go well. <laughs> there's not a big enough room that or window that they can get through, but there's one that kind of like cracks open so that it doesn't smell god awful in there all the time. And did you say the that we were going help. to meet the um, second party here? Yes. I'm tying up my guy upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Yes, there is um. There is a group from the mechanist that is coming to meet the person, the group that you guys are impersonating and have thus just thoroughly murdered. So we need to get rid of the bodies. Mm. You could just fucking leave them propped up in the cafe as a sick display. That's Make a good it. idea. <laughs> Make it seem like they're just having coffee. Oh, uh, wait, there's a picture for this. It's horrible. It's awful. It's, it's, it's from uh, World of Horror, this picture I'm looking up. I'm tied up my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have, there's no pictures of online. Ludwig okay. uh, just kind of okay. shoves the almost corpse off his body and just kind of cleans himself off. Very good Alphonse performance, gonna... Ludwig. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we saying, Fred? <laughs> yes, Alphonse is going to address the civilians. Um, you open the door, they're all just kind of like sitting as far back as possible from no, the no. bathroom. I don't open the door, oh, I uh, okay. talk through the door. We have vanquished the demons, but the gods, I'm afraid, the, they didn't make it. Oh, gods! I, <laughs> I'm a well-traveled bard. I have some experience with these things. I need you to head straight home. And the thing is, don't mention this to anyone, because the thing with demons is, if, if you talk about them, they can find you, and you do can not I hear want that. <laughs> Uh, are you heading downstairs, or are you busy just tying up a body? Well, that depends on, like, how long it takes to tie them up. Probably mm -hmm. takes a few minutes, and I'm pretty sure Alphonse did it uh, okay. pretty quickly after start. So, you hear them talking downstairs, so you know that a fight's not okay. going on. Continue your little epilogue. Epilogue? Monologue. Um... I kind of want to make you like roll persuasion, but also I feel like that's a bit needless at this point. I think they're mostly terrified and drunk. Roll persuasion at advantage, nonetheless. But I'm lying. <laughs> okay, uh, Soros, go it. Oh, you are lying. Mm. Persuasion or deception? Take your pick. Yeah, same modifier. Yeah. It's effective enough. Well, it was at advantage too. Oh. Todd. Because the drunk and scared out of their goddamn minds. 20 would do it. Oh. Yeah. You hear one of them is just kind of crying off, of the, or crying. Um, another one is, like, consoling them, trying to, like, convince them, like, hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, I really open the door, incident. and I beckon for one of them to come to me, and I'll yeah. say, I will escort you out one at a time. It is better if you don't look. Uh, the one... The one that's not crying or consoling, he just kind of like nods and follows your lead. He makes a concerted effort just not to look to the side and drink whatever bottle oh, of booze yeah, he yeah. sold. These are the bad ones too. These are the ones that if, you, if they if they look you in the eye, they'll just <laughs> oh, they don't, yeah, they'll just murder your whole family. <laughs> yeah, with that, he's like almost like covering his eyes Sammy entirely. True. <laughs> just like oh, get, oh fuck, what's going on? Luckily, though, you'll have time to pray for your god, because they like to torture you first. <laughs> <laughs> Semi true. Uh, you hear a crying stop in the other room, as, followed by a thump of someone hitting the ground. It seems that you slightly oversold the story and might have scared one into unconsciousness. But, anyways, right. so. Yeah, I'll escort the civilians out. What happened to the barman? He's in the cellar. 
He's in the basement. Uh, okay. And consider these three. They they all walk off um, to the the right, like this direction. You don't see him past the glass, but you see them disappear off into the distance. Mm -hmm. Two of them helping the other one uh, get to where they're going. <laughs> I'm gonna go just inspect the uh, this door over here. Is it a trap door? Is it the normal basement no, door? No, it's just is like a, a normal basement door. Um, it does have a lock on it. It seems that in his rush, he forgot to like lock it on up. All right, I'll lock it. You lock, you lock him down. Just lock him down. There. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. As you're walking away, you hear someone like kind of walk up to it and kind of like push it to check to see if it will open. Yeah. I got you. Hello. Hello. I, I, it's not quite safe yet. The, the demons are gone for demons. now, but they might return. Oh, the demons in my bar. Don't worry, we took care of it, but... It, oh, God. Your bar is a bit of a mess. But if you wait down there, I, I lock the door for your own safety. We'll, we'll clean this up and... Why are you talking to me? There's demons! It'll... I mean, yeah, I don't know. Why are they? It's weird. We summon them or something? Your bar. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, what kind of patron... What kind of patrons are you inviting these days? I mean, seriously. They were just mercenaries! <laughs> we had a couple regulars! <laughs> Are we the baddies? Summon the demons. Are we the demons? Are you the demons? I don't want to know. I don't know, but it, like, if you want to, you know, wake up tomorrow morning, you might just, you know, want to stop asking questions. <laughs> you hear, you hear a notable silence from down the cellar. <laughs> Slash a ball, one d twenty plus whiz to see how terrified he is. He is immensely mm. terrified. <laughs> If he got a one, he would just be unconscious. Yeah, the, at the very least, the barkeep is like, I am being threatened by someone, or maybe it's a demon, maybe a demon's demon. I don't fucking know what's happening, I'm scared. <laughs> he has not paid enough for this bullshit. So yeah, you guys effectively have a, a bar cleared out mostly to yourself, a few bodies, some blood, some busted doors, and one unconscious guard. Mm -hmm. All right. I will begin dragging the bodies upstairs. Sure, sure, sure. One or two of them is a little easier because uh, the lack of armor, and then the other ones are a bit on the heavier side. Just... I will also Some press to digitate the disarmed <laughs> mess. Well, one of them has been disarmed and beheaded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, I will press, to, press, I will press to digitate the mess so that there's no yeah. blood. And I will mend as well to eliminate any traces of. Uh, Good cover. I was about to mention it. Yeah, there's a few scratches and things, but everything for the most part seems just as clean as if you had just walked into a fresh bar. In fact, it seems like it's probably cleaner than it was when you came in. The, see, the barkeep should pay us. <laughs> you really should. Where do you stash the bodies? Um. I guess I'll just pile them in the same room for now. Sure, sure. Can can men uh, fix an entirely busted ass door? No, it has a limit. It depends on what part, how much of it's busted. It's like a foot long, I believe, is the length, like the determinant of it. Yeah. Hmm. A whole broken yeah, door. You now. have the spell up there. That is true. Oh yeah. Mending. Link a chain, torque clip, water skin, foot dimension. Forgive hmm. my European. I don't know how long a foot is. It's fine. Uh, a foot is a third of a meter. If, That's nothing. Yeah, it's not much. I, I well, the thing is, like, it depends on like how the pittance are. Yeah. Like, were they actually like jam, like were they door stopped or did they actually, they actually like, jam through the door into the ground? Because those are two different circumstances. Uh, they would have been jammed into the ground on the outside. Um, with how it's set up, I would imagine that instead of going like physically through the door and splintering the wood, that the hinges probably would have given out first and it would have just fallen down. Could I mend the hinges in specific? Uh, I will let you do that. The The physical door itself does seem a bit scuffed, especially along the bottom where the the actual pittens were. Oh, wait, no, you can it's fix that. Yeah. Uh, it's a bar. Yeah, yeah, it's a bar, yeah. Rough housing happens occasionally. We'll swap uh, this door with the bathroom one. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> <laughs> I will police the uh, pittens and uh, give them back to... Uh, I think you were they were big hats, or...? They were the no, they were the 
I'll give them back to Ludwig. Ludwig. Ah, uh, Alphonse! How would it go downstairs? How bloody is it? Mm. It's bloody murder. Isn't all of this? <laughs> Quite literally. Not anymore. Press the digitation. Ah. Uh, shake my fingers. Press the digitation. The blood off of me. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I do have a fine fellow right here. We can talk to later. As for his Marvel. buddies, the other two rooms should be unlocked, or if not, I can unlock them. At the very least, they are rooms after all. Where we, where do we, uh, shall we just pile the dwarves here? We can make there? it look like they're asleep. That we can. I begin tucking in this one. The one that's dead <laughs> in the same room. <laughs> tucking him in. He's, oh taking a, he's taking a very long nap. You know, put him back together, throw some blankets over him, put a pillow over his head so it looks like he's drowning out noise. There. Aww. The permanent sleep. Good job, by the way, Will. Fantastic. You're welcome. It's, uh... Just sort of tilt my head to the side. The sleeping pose is kind of creeping me out a bit, but good job, too. <laughs> Smile wide at that. Thank you. <laughs> Ludwig, can you attend to our tied-up friend here? Make sure he doesn't run off. Hmm. Thank you. Easy enough. If you wish, I bought a crowbar. You could use this. Nah, it should be fine. By the way. Uh, out again. Do you want uh, Lovely to keep them in this room or like in one of the other rooms? It's a group. I don't, I'm not sure how much it matters. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I guess saying his be, like, sleeping yeah. dead friend might be of a. A thing for it. A mental stir. <laughs> yeah. Is there a chair with a desk on the in the corner? Yeah. Or is it just uh, like the desk? This itself? is a cabinet. This is a like a bed. Not a cabinet. Like a like a little bedside thing. Like this a is a desk. Doors or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You have a desk and a table like right okay. next to the guy. It... But there's a chair with it. Assuming. Yes. Did I say desk I and a table? Would... I meant desk and a chair. Uh, I'd say tie him up to the chair, and then if we need to get some mental leverage, we can turn the chair around and show him what happens. Yeah. From this guy's perspective, he was just doing some some fine uh, paperwork and then woke up here. <laughs> okay, so you have actually Ludwig. What do you have any? Hmm. I don't know. Belts, manacles, something to actually tie his arms other than rope. Not edgy enough to have belts, but let me see. I have silken rope. Yeah, only the finest. Yeah. Ludwig does have I to applaud your pursuits, Alphonse. Truly, I do. I did not need to know that, though. Well, they are excellent for tying hands, I'm just saying. I'm sure. You seem like the type that No, I think something a bit more abrasive would be appropriate right now. Uh, he has 50 feet of hemp and rope. Mm. I don't know if I had anything else other than hemp and rope, though, because 